Charles Van Tempest was born on the 16th of July 1852 in London. He was the eldest son of George Van Tempest, the fifth Marcus of Londonderry, and his wife, Lady Cornelia. He was educated at Eton College and the National University of Ireland and also at Christ Church, Oxford. In 1872, he took the courtesy title Lord Castlereagh when his father became the fifth Marcus of Londonderry. As a young man, Charles, pictured here on the right, became friendly with the Prince of Wales, who was the eldest son of Queen Victoria. They often hunted together on the Londonderry family estates. Lord Castlereagh married Theresa Susie Talbot, daughter of Charles Cheatwin Talbot, the 19th Earl of Shrewsbury, in 1875. They had two sons and one daughter. Their second son died at a young age in October 1899. Lord Castlereagh was returned to Parliament as one of two representatives for County Down in 1878, a seat which he held until 1884. He succeeded his father as the Marcus of Londonderry and entered the House of Lords in 1886 under Lord Salisbury. Lord Londonderry was sworn by the Privy Council and appointed Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. He included the Stuart name into his own family name and was known as Charles Vane Tempest Stuart, Viceroy of Ireland. On leaving his position of Viceroy of Ireland, his staff in Dublin Castle presented Lord and Lady Londonderry with a silver shield, which included their pictures and miniature pictures of all his staff in Dublin Castle. On the death of his mother, Queen Victoria, in 1901, the Prince of Wales was crowned King Edward VII. At the coronation of King Edward VII, Lord Londonderry carried the great sword of state in the royal procession. In 1903, King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra visited Ireland and arrived in Newton Arge by royal train. A special carriage had been furnished to accommodate the King and Queen during their travels throughout Ireland. During their visit to Ireland, the King and Queen stayed at Mount Stuart and are pictured here with other house guests together with the sixth Marcus and his wife. The house at Mount Stuart was made ready to receive the royal guests. This photograph is of the dining room at the time of their visit. One of the royal duties during uh, their visit to Ireland uh, was to Belfast to the newly built City Hall. King Edward VII unveiled a statue to his mother, Queen Victoria, which was erected in front of the City Hall. Conway Square, Newton Arch saw a guard of honour formed to greet the arrival of King Edward and his wife. Queen Alexandria. A large crowd gathered to see the King and Queen. The royal couple arrived in Newton Arch by horse drawn carriage, which entered Conway Square and stopped under a canopy which had been erected in the square. Lord Londonderry died of pneumonia at his County Durham home. Winyard Park in February 1915, age 62. 
He was buried in the grounds of Wynyard Park. A statue of the 6th Marcus of Londonderry was erected in front of their same property on the coast of Durham.